Good morning and welcome to this tutorial of MCX Gain. Today we will let you know how to use MT4 platform as a charting tool. Uh, first of all, we will let you know how to log in with an account. Just you have to click on login, file, and and then click on login to trade account. Uh, in here, it, it requires three things. Number one is login ID, number two is password, and number three is server. So uh, it already having one ID. Uh, we have to put the new ID here, okay? And uh, on the password option, we have to put the password. And on the server, we need to put the server of the company whichever you are uh, using uh, MT4 terminal, uh, and then click on login. Once you click on login, it will uh, generate a sound uh, that uh, shows that it is uh, login. Suppose that uh, no sound came, then uh, what you have to do is you can go at the down and you can uh, just uh, you can see the label here. Here it shows you uh, some green bars and some red bars. That means it is connected. If not connected, then uh, here it will show the message that no connection. Uh, or invalid account or account disabled so after that uh, we'll come to know that uh, how to uh, select the symbols coming here once uh, you have logged in the account then you have to go uh, uh, right click on that market watch window and then you can uh, click on symbols once you click on symbol uh, here you can find the symbols uh, like forex in here you can see forex currencies are there uh, number two is US commodities in here you can see the for uh, indices for uh, of uh, global market you can see here as well as you can see uh, gold crude uh, silver and uh, copper now uh, it is MCX one MCX one is MCX uh, segment MCX exchange here you can see all the sec all the MCX uh, symbols are there, like copper, CPO, cotton, gold, silver, aluminium, as well as uh, we can see the currency also, uh, like uh, JP JB by in uh, JB by INR, uh, USD INR, Euro INR, like this. And uh, after that, the another option is NSC one. NSC one is NSC futures. And uh, after that you can see uh, NSC2 NSC2 is cash on the symbol you find the hash that means uh, the symbols are in cash and the another one is NS NCDX it is agri commodities and uh, after that there is an uh, NSC options in the NSC options you can see uh, gold and silver oh sorry uh, bank nifty and nifty uh, call puts okay so uh, right click and go to symbols another thing is uh, once you log in uh, it will show you like uh, like this symbol and ask and bid price and if you want to add uh, the high and low then you you right you can go to right click and uh, select high low it will show you high and low as well as you can uh, select the time option it will show you current time okay then I come uh, to view on the view there are uh, so many buttons you can see number one is language in here you can go and select your uh, language either it is English or any other language you have you can uh, select from here after that you have to go to toolbars the toolbars are uh, you can see the shortcuts uh, below the navigation bar Th these, th these all things are toolbars so we can select and deselect the toolbars if we want then we can select if we don't want we can deselect so see I am going to deselect all the uh, bars
okay and now uh, we will add the toolbars number one is standard toolbar in the standard toolbar uh, we will check uh, we will see the new chart option the profile option the market watch the data window the navigator the terminal the strategy tester meta editor and auto trading so in view uh, you can see the toolbar option the another toolbar is charting toolbar in which we can see bar chart candle chart line chart and zoom in zoom out tile windows auto scroll chart shift indicators periods and templates and the another one is line study in which we can see the cursor crosshair vertical line horizontal line trend line and this channel and this fibonacci retracement and texting etc etc another one is periodicity in the periodicity we will get the time frame like 1 minute 5 minute 15 minute 30 minute 1 hour 4 hour day week month after that there is a status bar if you deselect the status bar you can see suppose that you deselect the status bar you can see the bottom uh, bar where where we are uh, watching the status connection status is not there so uh, status bar is that bar which shows us the connection status okay and uh, another one is chart bar if we have added one or more two charts suppose that i i'm going to add uh, one more chart one more chart then uh, after that if we click on the chart tool uh, chart uh, bar then it will not show you the chart status here that how many charts have opened right now so it is very useful uh, always use it at checked and uh, after that Uh, that is market watch if you deselect it your market watch will go you can directly uh, add the market watch from here from the toolbar otherwise you can go to view and click on market watch this is data window uh, the data window is the um, uh, it give it gives proper uh, knowledge about any candle Let's see uh, if i go to any candle it will show us time open candle opening of the candle high low close volume of the candle each and every knowledge we can get by the data window if we click on another another it will show you here okay there is navigator in navigator we can uh, get account information get indicators get expert advisor and scripts so uh, the indicator option is very important to us uh, that uh, from here we can add or uh, select the indicators whatever we want suppose that we want this indicator we can add like this we want this one we can add like this so uh, it is very important to us in the next tutorial we will learn how to add charts and uh, how to use uh, indicators how to put indicators how to do uh, all other things for uh, thanks for watching this video thank you very much bye bye